Welcome to my usability reflection on my blended course, Workflows That Work. For starters, the people who I got to test this course were peers, other teachers and teammates that I work with. Now, while this audience wasn't necessarily the right audience, these are people that I trust because they have experience with course design, particularly in Canvas and using Google Workspace. I also had them use the Quality Matters non-annotated standards from the QM Continuing and Professional Education rubric, second edition, because my audience is adult learners and I really want to make sure that I meet my learners' needs. I also intend to have the first cycle of learners provide feedback using questions that I derive from these QM standards. The impact of my platform was very intentional. For starters, I use things that the district provides, so I don't have to worry that they won't work all of a sudden because the district decides not to support it anymore. Now, I am very comfortable with Canvas and with Google Workspace, so that helped me to be able to to design a meaningful course and a good course experience for my learners. On that same token, my learners are also very comfortable with Canvas and with Google Workspace. I learned so much from usability testing. Things that went well include the way that my objectives, assessments, and activities are aligned. For example, this is growing a growth mindset. It's the first assignment in the module, and I communicate the objective, an EQ that is created with the same language of the objective, and a product that is also created with the same language of the objective. And so the learners understand what they're going to be doing, and they also understand how it connects to the objective. At the end of each chunk, learners have to reflect on the essential question so that they make deeper connections to the material and understand and communicate what they learned from creating the product and also how it tied back to the objective. I also want to point out how each assessment truly does meet OBE design standards. For example, in this activity, they're going to be analyzing single department workflows and multi-department workflows in teams within their own department and across departments so that the learners understand what they're doing right now so that they can later reflect on how they could improve it. Regarding accessibility, You may have noticed the emojis that I use and they're consistent. So this is my start here module. This is my homepage. This is an introduction to workflows that work. And with each introduction, I use that same symbol at the beginning. With each activity, I use the same symbol at the beginning. And then each discussion, I use the same symbol at the beginning as well. All videos include closed captions provided by YouTube. And all images and tables have alternative text. Also, all images are appropriately cited. Many of the ways in which my course needs to grow come back to the syllabus in communicating simple things. For example, I need to include the times for in-person instruction. I need to communicate what CPE credits and requirements are. I need to explain what technology to bring. And I need to make sure learners know what they could earn on completion of this course. Finally, I want to let them know how they're being evaluated. In each assignment, it's considered pass or fail. So if they do it and they reflect, they pass. However, I don't know that I make that clear from the get-go. Finally, one thing I'd like to do is communicate more about what the coaching will look like as a module and not just in person, just in case somebody isn't able to attend. I think that this process provides the learner with more choice, ownership, and voice within an authentic learning environment. I also know that the tweaks I made or will make will improve communication, which improves overall learner experience. Regarding alignment, I noticed that while my activities were aligned with my outcomes, sometimes that connection is unclear. So I clarified for my learners the why behind it and connected back to that affective domain In particular, I made sure that the EQ is clear and that for each module, learners had an opportunity to reflect on the EQ. Regarding infrastructure needs, 
the technology is district provided and district supported. And brick and mortar availability is very high in our district. Conference rooms are highly available, easily accessible, and they include all of the necessary equipment. Finally, support will include coaching and professional learning networks that I've already started to enact through one of my other courses in this graduate program. Please take this opportunity to explore my course, which I linked on my compilation page, and I really look forward to your feedback. Thank you.